Every morning I have to let puppies out. You guys have dogs? First off, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. Does the thought of speaking on camera make your heart race? Do you find yourself stumbling over your words and second guessing what to say? If so, you're not alone. I go through this every day during this challenge and I'm with you. <laughs> I struggle with this, but confidence on camera is something you can absolutely learn. In this video, I'm going to show you how to be confident on camera, even if you've never felt that way before. You have an issue with Moto. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Philip, and I'm on a mission to help you overcome the barriers that keeps you from sharing your message with the world. Speaking on camera can feel intimidating. Confidence isn't something you're born with. Is something you build and today I'm going to share with you the strategies that have helped me and countless others feel confident and natural in front of the camera let's dive in to the tips that will help you build that on-camera confidence number one reframe nervousness as excitement the physical symptoms of nervousness and excitement are nearly identical Instead of telling yourself you're nervous, start telling yourself you're excited. This simple shift in mindset can turn anxiety into positive energy and make you feel more confident. Two, use body language to boost confidence. Demonstrating your body language speaks volumes. Stand tall, roll your shoulders back, and use open gestures. These physical cues can actually influence your brain making you feel more confident even if you're initially nervous. Next time you're on camera, remember to project confidence through your posture. Three, create a positive recording environment. Your surroundings can greatly affect your confidence. Make sure your recording space is well lit, comfortable and free of distractions. Having a space that feels good to you can make a big difference in how you perform on camera. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So you guys are enjoying this. So with that said, let's get back into the tips. Tip number four is engage in a pre-recorded ritual. Right, so develop a pre-recorded ritual that helps you get into the right mindset, whether it's a few deep breaths or a quick walk, like for example, this morning, I had trouble just getting out of the door because I wanted to honestly run away and just stop what I'm doing. What did help me was pray. And during that prayer, it reminded me of the verse Joshua 1.9. It says, have I not commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified nor dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That alone reminded me that I shouldn't be afraid of being on camera, talking with you guys, because that's, I have to remind myself that God is with me through everything. And I think during this process of doing YouTube, honestly, I just completely forgot about that. And it's okay, right? We're human. Don't be hard on yourself and learn from it, right? I think through practice, through repetition, you get better at being confident. Confident is, like I said earlier, is something that's built on. You build on it and the more you do it, being in an environment that you're not confident in, the more you put yourself in that situation, the better you get out. Think about LeBron James, right? Before the game start, you think the NBA players, before they start the game, or anybody that's into major league sports, before they go out there and have to fight someone, like in UFC, whatever situation it is, they're human just like everybody else, and they all get nervous. Um, it's not because they're not confident. It's just the fact that you have to understand, you have to separate the emotion from who you are. It's just a thought. It's just a feeling. It's not who you are, all right? So block it out. You have to know how to separate it. Separate those things. Record short practice videos. Record yourself multiple times 
and different scenarios and backgrounds of just talking what you want to talk about in your YouTube videos. Start off with just one minute and work your way up. Stop, record, and try it again. Look over the recording and see where you can improve that. Okay? And so, if the thought of recording full videos feels overwhelming, like I said, just start with short practice videos. These low pressure recordings let you build confidence gradually. Plus, watching them back helps you see what you're doing well and where you can improve. Number six, practice mindfulness and breathing techniques. All right, before you start recording, take a moment to practice mindfulness. Close your eyes, take a few deep breaths, and center yourself. This helps calm your nerves and bring you into the presence moment, making it easier to speak with clarity and confidence. Just breathe, guys. Relax. Get your mind centered and then give it a go. Seven, review and flick on your progress. After each recording session, take time to review your performance. Notice what you did well and what you can improve on. Reflecting on your progress over time will help you see how much you've grown, which naturally boosts your confidence. After watching them a bunch of times, you start to build confidence like, whoa, who's this guy? Right? And you actually start getting more excited, like, oh, I just did that? Oh, that's easy. And you just got to keep, keep at it. Confidence on camera is a journey, but with practice, preparation, and the right mindset is one that can absolutely be mastered. Remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about being authentic, showing up and delivering value to your audience. Keep these tips in mind. And now that you're building confidence on camera, you might encounter another challenge, handling negative comments and criticisms. But don't worry, I've got you covered. Click here to watch my next video, how to handle negative comments and criticism, where I'll share strategies to stay positive and focus on your goals. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.